Hello and welcome to the E Premier League Invitational. I'm Adam Smith and pleased to say that I will be alongside Joe Tomlinson as we look to find out who is the ultimate FIFA player in the Premier League. All 20 Premier League clubs represented either by a player from their squad, an ex-player or a celebrity. But on day one of the five-day tournament, about to go into match three uh, and a big, big game ahead. Two heavyweights of the Premier League, Joe. Yeah, two massive teams in Premier League history about to do battle. We've seen seven goals already in the first two games. But a reminder for everybody watching, please do stay home and help save lives. The prize fund from this E Premier League Invitational Tournament is being donated to the Players Together Initiative too. So let's have a look at this game. The two massive Premier League sides going head-to-head -head are Newcastle and Manchester United. It's going to see current player Rolando Ahrens taking on Jofra Archer, England cricket superstar. After that, we're going to see two of the Premier League's best players, James Madison and Callum Wilson, doing battle as Leicester take on Bournemouth. We can see the draw, though, in full. And this side of the draw has already seen Tottenham progress in the form of Ryan Sessegnon to take on Max Ahrens. And then we're going to see Newcastle and Manchester United do battle in just a moment. The winner of that will face John Egan of Sheffield United. If they go through that round, they'll have to face current reigning champions Wolverhampton Wanderers in the form of Morgan Gibbs-White or Brighton's Aaron Connolly. So there we have it, Smith. Loads of big games coming people's way. Do you want to just remind them of the rules, though? Yeah, these are the all-important rules that you do have to be aware of. This, of course, the second EPL Invitational. Congratulations to Diogo Jota, who won that inaugural event just two weeks ago, representing Wolves, of course. And it is a straight knockout tournament like the first one was. You lose one game and you are out. Every round consists of just one game. Every Premier League club represented either by a player from their squad, an ex-player or a celebrity fan. And these are the in-game rules that you need to be aware of. Two six-minute halves. In the event of a draw, golden goal used to determine the winner. 85 rated Premier League squads in kickoff mode on the PS4 to find out who is the ultimate FIFA 20 player, Joe. Yeah, we can have a quick look back as well at the game we just saw between Burnley and Arsenal because it was a cracking game between Charlie Taylor and Michael Ward, wasn't it? Charlie Taylor, not talking a big game, but playing a big game, went 1-0 up, didn't he, through Chris Wood. Michael Ward, very animated throughout the whole game. And he did manage to get back into it. An equaliser coming through Alexandra Lacazette, who he was playing through the middle instead of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. A mistake, potentially, he said after the match. Charlie Taylor, though, did get the winner, didn't he? Jay Rodriguez. Tapping home after a Chris Wood rebound. Burnley progressing through to the next round where they will play Manchester City and Phil Foden. But let's come back to the game we're about to see, Smithy, because Newcastle versus Manchester United is a game stacked with history and two massive names playing off it. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one to call. What's interesting so far, Joe, is we look, we put Spencer favourite, or many people put Spencer favourite for the whole tournament against uh, Ryan Sessegnon. That didn't work out. Michael talked a very good game, very entertaining, I have to say, and he was very gracious in defeat, losing to Burnley. But we perhaps put him favourite in that one uh, going into that game. And of course, Charlie ended up winning that game for Burnley. So just like we saw in our inaugural EPL Invitational, very mm. tough to call. Uh, but this one it is going to be just so fascinating. And as you say, Joe, two heavyweights of the Premier League. That have, that have had some great games down the line, uh, Man United, Newcastle. It's not a game I can call. I'm not going to. I'm not going to give a prediction here. But I am pleased to say, Joe, that both of our players are joining us now. So I'm going to speak to Rolando. Uh, Rolando, you're representing Newcastle in the EPL Invitational. How are you feeling going into your first game? Um, I was feeling alright until about now. I'm a bit nervous now. I can't lie to you, mate. But yeah, we'll we'll go. We'll see what happens. Now, the one thing I want to talk to you about is obviously Christian Atsu represented Newcastle in the first EPL Invitational and he was very vocal and on social media, he just said it overwhelmed him, the support that he had. We know that Newcastle fans are so passionate, such great with their support. I mean, it's such a big club, obviously. Do you feel the pressure representing Newcastle in this? Because we've seen with all the fans that there's a, <laughs> there's a lot of hope on the line, isn't there? <laughs> I, I literally didn't feel nothing until like, I seen the, the start of this laugh. Uh, but, um, yeah, the support's always there from Newcastle and hopefully I don't let them down. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. I, I, love, how you, I love how you seem quite nervous about this. Um, you're going up against, obviously, an England cricketing legends. <laughs> you, don't, you can't explain <laughs> it? <laughs> no. 
You're going up against an England cricket legend, of course, World Cup winner, a man that's used to thriving under pressure. Have you seen Joffre Archer play FIFA? Do you know anything about your opponent going into this? I, I know he's he's famous and he plays cricket, but I, obviously I don't really watch cricket too much. But I'm hoping because I actually play football that I should win on a football game. OK, there we go. Uh, all the best, Rolando. Uh, Joe, I think you can speak to Joffre. Is football versus cricket uh, and Joffre Archer standing by with you? Yeah, Joffre, uh, we can speak to you now. Obviously, you're very used to pressure. We saw you bowl the super over in the World Cup. Do you feel the pressure today representing your beloved Manchester United? I'll let you know I have to. I think I'm pretty okay for now. And how big of a Manchester United fan are you? For people that know you from the cricket world, just how big of a Man United fan are you? Well, big enough. Very, very well, <laughs> I think there are some pretty much day, day, day hard fans out there. I'm day hard as well, but, you know, there's always, you never know who the biggest fan is. Everyone will say, oh, I'm the biggest fan or I'm the biggest fan. So you never know, but I like to put myself up there. And obviously, we know you from the cricket world. You're a fantastic cricketer. But how do you stack up in terms of your FIFA ability? Because obviously, it's a different sport. It's football. How does Joffre Archer, the cricketer, play FIFA? I'd like to say pretty steady, to be honest. Um, I won't say I'm amazing or I'm great, but pretty, pretty steady. OK, there we are. Thanks very much, Joffre. Good luck. Smithy, back to you. Yeah, great stuff. Great to hear from Rolando and to hear from Joffre. It's been a f fantastic array of talent we've had involved in this tournament so far. And we're about to get going uh, with our third game of day one. As well as Joe and myself, pleased to say that Brandon Smith and Richard Buckley will be commentating on the whole tournament. And they've seen an array of FIFA tournaments over the last years. They've commentated all around the world. And Brandon, I'm very excited about this. Football versus cricket, a tough one to call. And I'm very excited about this game. Yeah, it's going to be an amazing one, isn't it? You know, Joffre Archer achieved so much for uh, England and in the world of cricket as well. We all remember that uh, that World Cup final as well. What a cricket World Cup that was back in 2019. He said he's steady at FIFA. Let's see how he goes up against Sir Orlando. I'm certainly looking forward to it. Yeah, Richard, we've seen two great games, two very close games, actually. One thing we saw in the EPL Invitational in the first time is, is that the round one matches in the early stages were quite one-sided. We saw eight goals, we saw six goals. That Both games so far have been very tight, haven't they? Yeah, they've been very tight. I'll tell you one thing that we've not seen, though, that we've seen for the first time ever. That jazzy Man United shirt that Joffre Archer is wearing. Where has he got that <laughs> from? Because that is special. It is very special indeed. Uh, there it is. This is not the first thing we've seen. <laughs> he liked that, Buckers. I like it. And I'm pleased to say we are ready to go. Our Orlando Aarons of Newcastle against Joffre Archer, representing Man United. And let's hand over to our casters, oh. Brandon Smith and Richard Buckley. Here we go, boys. Here we go indeed at Old Trafford for this one. Manchester United up against Newcastle United in the EPO Invitational. This is round one. It's our third game of the day. And to be honest, Richard, I'm not too sure which way this game is going to go. I mean, we've noticed oh, oh things throughout the entire tournament, Brandon. We've seen surprises. We've seen unknown elements. Both of these two players, we could see probably the, uh, potentially the tournament winner. Yeah. Joffre Archer looking pretty clean there in the opening stages. Nice little bit of play with Bruno Fernandes in a centre midfield. Man United are a very, very good 85 rated team. A lot of tall players, a lot of physicality in that squad. Paul Pogba, McTominay, Bruno Fernandes, Nemanja Matic in there. Tall, physical players. When the stats are all even, oh, having laggy. those attributes, they're pretty yeah. strong. Yeah, a few connection problems, it sounds like, from uh, the POV of Joffre Archer. But this is a whole remote broadcast. Everybody connecting with each other from all over the world. And credit where it is due to Skype and the Premier League for putting this together. Remember, it's a five-day tournament. This is only day uh, one no. of the action. Strap yourselves in. This is to find out who will be in our final 16. The winner of this, Richard, will go up against Sheffield United in the round of 16. And certainly it is... Big boots to fill for Orlando Aarons because Christian Ertz had a fantastic run. Man. Jeez. Last time out. He made a quarter final stage. Chance for Newcastle on the edge of the box. If Dwight Gale can get the shot away, he's taken a deflection back inside. And he's offside in the end. It is the Newcastle forward. 
Absolutely, Brandon. Christy Natsu had a pretty good performance the last time out. Unfortunately, you can't say the same for Tom Grennan, who represented Manchester United. He lost five goals to one against Liverpool's Trent Alexander-Arnold in the last 16. So, Joffre Archer hoping there. to equal the last that. 16 where Tom did go out. Chance here for Nabil Bentelab on the edge of the box, looking for a dink over the top, but Lindelof will always clear that. Hayden on the edge of the box, doing very well to hold up and get away from two Manchester United players. Uh, get it, get it, get it. Uh, come on. Very vocal from the word go, has Joffre been. It's expected. We've seen some fantastic stars being involved in this tournament so far. Outside of the footballing world. Oh no, don't pass it back. Don't pass right, it Right, Gale. <laughs> Chance to go one the lot for Newcastle United back inside. Oh, Surely a goal. Oh, how is that not oh, gone in? It's, it's, it's lagging though, Rolando, what went wrong? Do you know what it is? It's lagging. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Excuse number one. We'll take it. Yeah, That's yeah. one of the tick list. Yeah, a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've all been there, right? We've all had a laggy game of FIFA. I mean, I will give him the benefit of the doubt on that chance. I can see what it's like going forward for him. Went for a Ronaldo chop of all skill moves. Come on, Andy. Come on. Come on. Martial. out. Has he got the legs? On Fernandez. Fernandez does enough to get back and we'll recycle that back Ooh, to Newcastle goalkeeper. Chance. Martial, he's through. <laughs> That's the goal. Surely it is. Manchester United will break the deadlock at Old Trafford. Job for Archer. <laughs> said he was steady at FIFA. He's taken a steady lead in this game. And Joffre won the lot. Talk to us about the goal. Fantastic finish. Well, yeah, I think he just gave me a little bit of space there. And, you know, he's had the possession for the last two minutes. My head's hurt in Manchester United. Anthony Martial breaking the deadlock here Martial. at Old Trafford. It, let's be honest, in all honesty, Rolando Warren should have scored up the other end. Oh my it was sort of a. I don't even know what to say. A, a great save by David De Gea, a, a, a misclick from Rolando Warren oh, potentially well. in the final third. Dwight Gale there, lovely fake oh, shot to get it's past amazing. Maguire. Yes. It's Goes to Bentelab, fake shot inside the box, another oh, fake shot. Bentelab's weaving. Oh, this night is amazing. It's that ball. Not found the back of the net. Oh, he's going to pull me. Oh. Punched away by David oh, Hale. Credit where it is due to Orlando. If oh, you can see the connection issues on your screen. And he's still pulling off skill oh, moves man. and weaving his way in between Manchester United defenders that. Yeah, important to stress as well, Brandon. Everyone is staying home, so this broadcast is put on all around the UK. We've got feeds from everywhere. It's the transmission's going oh, all over the it? place. So it's fantastic to even see this taking place, Brandon. I think that's important to stress. We might have a couple of leggy games, but they're still going ahead. Oh, no. Come on. That is poor. Happening. Thank you. Newcastle oh, United God. hunting for that equaliser. Went for the hill to hill, but probably an unnecessary skill move. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Come on, Luke. Go on, lads. Stretch your legs. Come on, Luke. Newcastle. I've been hunted. I've been in the box so many times. It's just that final pass for Ronaldo. There must be some positives to take, though. He's all going well. Absolutely. He's getting the ball in the right areas. It's just that final pass. Yeah, inside the box, it's just that right. sort of composure oh that I always God. say. Having That's the happy. final pass, having the final shot. So, hey, going to collect that pretty calmly under pressure, but when the pressure has been on, it's been Joffre Archer keeping his cool, slotting it past through Anthony Martial, past the Bravka. Oh. 20 minutes into this ooh, game. Ooh. Mate. Oh, Stitch defending at the game, back there Brandon. from... Newcastle United, yeah, certainly scrappy word I'll look to use. But he's looked quite flashy in the final third, has Ronaldo. <laughs> it's 
So many black and white shirts. Trying to get it forward, it's just keep saying, and I will keep hammering home about it. That final ball, not there for him. Here's Rashford. Good job for Archie. Does lead by a goal to nil on the stroke of half time. Added time just to come any Don't second ball. now. This is for Second a place back. in the round Second of 16. Oh, no. Ooh, Pogba working oh, back. Oh, oh. Defensive duty chance for Hayden. Newcastle on the rebound. That's got to be a goal. And it will be a goal. Dwight Gale never missing from there. Got to say it's been coming, Brandon. The chances have been building up for Rolando Aarons. A little fortunate with the rebound, but Dwight Gale poaching it inside the box. What a piece now, going into half-time. Probably where this game deserves to be, I would say, on the balance of yeah. the no, first 45. No, no. Desert. Definitely, definitely deserves to be here. Rolando, after all that pressure, all those chances, does find the back of the net at Old Trafford. And we're going into half-time in the most perfect way possible. The scoreline being 1-1 between these two. Fantastic game so far. Time, <laughs> <laughs> oh, ready to ready. crack on? Uh, ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Rolando, yeah. just talk us through how big of a goal that is on half time. I think, as you said, it was deserved. Um, I've been very sloppy in front of goal, so I'm happy that one went in. There we go. There we go. Then Rolando said he's been sloppy in front of goal, uh, Brandon and Rich. Yeah. I think that's uh, a word we could use to describe that, Richard. But he's had chances. He, he really has. And you've got to say, on the balance of the game, as I said, going into half-time, it was a deserved goal. He was creating chances, a couple of fake shots inside the box. Oh, oh no! Joffre no. Archer is very dangerous in the final wow. third with Marcus Rashford here. Bearing <laughs> down on goal. <laughs> what a touch that was, by the way. From Marshy out, <laughs> Reese James with the chance. <laughs> Unfortunately, no way through that for the Welsh winger. That oh, oh, Daniel James, as we know, joining from Swansea City. Not a bad item in the world of FIFA as well. Got a future stars upgrade a little while back for any. Budding FIFA Ultimate Team whoa, players. Whoa, whoa. I mean, he certainly does suit sort of the way to play FIFA 20, Brandon. If you're quite a casual player, you want pace out wide, you want to get into these areas where Joffre Archer is right now and then look for the pass back inside the box, look for the cutbacks, and that's where you'll find all the danger. Oh, Almost. my Gee out. Barry. Just runs into danger, Matty! Barry. And Joffre, with the respect there of anyone in the FIFA community, just apologising for that goal. He knows he was a little bit fortunate, but fair play. Manageable people popping up in the box, Richard. And putting Joffre Where did the chance come Two goals from? to one. It came from the ball out wide. Rashford, pace, getting oh, into danger. Yes. Very fortunate for Matic to be there. Yes. As that stings the hands of David De Gea. But right place, right time. He's been dangerous on the counter-attack. Has Joffre Archer. Where's he going? And again, we've I'll got say, another super competitive game of FIFA, Brandon. Oh, my head's going to hurt me. Still plenty of time left. Oh. Orlando, plenty of time. 30 minutes. <laughs> How's this game? Ooh, Mark, got more here. goals in it. What? I see, I see, I see him. Marcus. Marcus Rashford. In and around yeah. the fullback, this could be dangerous. Yeah, Penalty, that's got a bit. Yeah, no, he doesn't go down to the ground. Uh... Again, Brandon, it's just that final touch, that final pass for Rolando Aarons oh, in this game. Oh, my dears, look, you got to get there. Look, you got to get there. Newcastle. Wants a break with pace. It's great that he's got oh, these basic skill moves in his locker as well. Yeah, in Rolando, the drag backs. A simple fake shots. Oh, nah, 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 nah. What's going on? Oh, what is this? <laughs> it falls everywhere. It's like a what pinball. Where's the ball going? What is this? Hayden 
chance for Newcastle. Aina with the shot. That ball was bouncing like a bull in a china shot right there. You did not know where it was going to end up. Hayden somehow putting it wide of the post. Alan St. Maximin, a player that the whole FIFA world is very fond of at the moment. I'm sure Newcastle fans are as well. I had to be careful there. Oh, Off his line, did get oh, rid go of the ball. Marcus, go, Marcus, go, go, go. Marcus Rashford go. could be through. He's got pace as well. It could be an option inside Finish. Marcus Rashford to make this 3 1. Rashford with the oh, chance. Oh. And there's the goal. Joffre Archer, a man for the big occasion, usually in the cricketing world, but on the, on the world of FIFA, I should say. He's been very impressive today. He said he was a steady FIFA player. He will lead this game by three goals to one and will look to put Manchester United back into the round of 16 for a second time in the EPL oh. Invitational. Joffre, Marcus Rashford has been fantastic for you. Is he always out there on the wing? Oh, this leg is not the one. <laughs> we'll take that as a yeah. he's zoned in, Richard. He's very, very much zoned in it. It's got 19 minutes just under that now to hold on to this game. Yes, Harry. Let's go. Let's go again. Ooh. You can see the space that Rashford's occupying, though, every single time, Brandon. Yedlin's pushing out of position, and Rashford's getting in behind. Oh, oh my God. Damn. <laughs> There it is. That is the nail in the coffin. Yeah, game's done. In regards to this game, Newcastle look like they will be crashing out. Round one of the EPL Invitational. And Joffre Archer will be carrying Manchester United into a round of 16 tie, which looks to be up against Sheffield United. And after the tap would finally catch oh, lost a bit word. He's lost it, though. Joffre. <laughs> Uh, Joffre, very, very comfortable in this game. You're four goals to one up. You've been very clinical in front of goal. Yeah. Um, not yeah. Yeah. Looking to make it five oh. here. Down inside the box, dinked across, but Fernandez. Keeping a little bit of pride. Harry, get ahead of him. Get ahead of him. Uh. We've seen comebacks many a time. Yeah, this come, this ain't happening. The world of FIFA. I was about to ask you that, Rolando. Is yeah, there any yeah. chance of a comeback? Three goals no, behind no, in no, ten no, minutes. No, no, no. That would that, that would be oh, something. This could be one. one. This could be one. You've got to believe. You've got to believe. Jack and Polly. Chance. Hayden! Come, Marcus, come, Hayden. Marcus. Let's go. Running into the brick oh. wall that is Maguire. Had to go but there's been a, a number of outstanding centre back performances on, throughout this EPL Invitational so far, Brandon. Oh. Davison Sanchez in the first game, Ben oh Mee in the second God. game, and now Mike Maguire. That's a terrible pass. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm liking the, uh, the man management as well from Joffrey in this game. Congratulating every player on every tackle, Hit it. every pass, Hit it. Oh. every piece of movement. <laughs> the goals he's been scoring as well. Not a great shot from Martial, but at this point, it doesn't yes, matter. Harry. Three goals yes, in throw. Ball. Four goals to one is the scoreline. And it looks as if Manchester United will be minutes away from a round of 16 tie-up against Sheffield United in the EPL. Invitation, unfortunately, it will be at the end of the road for the Magpies. Added time to come any second now. <laughs> Heartbreak for Rolando. But he's just being clinical and confident and composed in the final third from Joffrey Archer. He's not created 20, 30 chances, but the chances that he has created, he's dispatched. Come on, man. He still wants more goals. I don't think he will be getting any more in this game. The good news for United fans, he will be in the round of 16 representing your club referee. That should do us there. Four <laughs> goals to one. Manchester United will move on into the round of 16 to face Sheffield United. Congratulations to Joffre Archer. <laughs>
Yeah, big win there for Joffre and for Manchester United. We can speak to both players. Now, Joffre, you described yourself as a steady FIFA player. You've been very modest pre-game. Uh, you look like a real FIFA player there and you were very clinical in that game. No, still steady, still steady. Still steady. My mates beat me all the time, so... I'm just happy I got a win today, to be honest. And I saw you get the towel out, wipe the hands. We've all done that after we played FIFA, just wiping the hands. You've obviously given us one of uh, the most, the greatest sporting moments of recent times, that Super Over in the World Cup final, which was so nerve-wracking just to watch. So I can only imagine what it was like to be involved in. How did the nerves compare there? Because at 2-1, it looked like quite a nervy game. How, how did it compare? Um, I wouldn't say I was a little bit nervy going into half. Um, obviously, both of us were, were level. But... Um... I can tell he likes to stand back when he has a football and I'm a pretty attacking player. So I, I probably fancy myself to win the game at 90 minutes. Rolando, commiserations. That is your tournament over. As we know, the, the format of the tournament, one game, knockout and you're out. So what would you like to say uh, to the victor, Joffre Archer, your opponent today? Um, I want to say good luck. Hopefully you win it. So I don't feel as bad as I do right now. Um, but yeah, it was a good game. You took your chances. I missed almost every single one I had in front of goal. I think, yeah, it showed in the result. <laughs> but yeah, good luck, bro. Joffre, are you going to be speaking to yeah, any of your England cricket you. teammates? Are they going to be watching? Have you had any messages of support from them? What, what's been said? Uh, I don't think any of the boys know what's going on at the moment. Uh, I certainly didn't get any messages from them. They didn't know they would have said something. And, and lastly, we noticed that you're very vocal. You're congratulating a lot of your in-game players. Is that, can we expect to see more of that? Because it's very entertaining to watch. You're very vocal, very animated while you play FIFA. Can we, can we see more of the same going forward? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to change throughout the tournament. I'm going to try to keep it um, like the same way I'd play if it wasn't on TV or if I wasn't playing against other people. Love that. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Very entertaining game. Rolando, commiserations. That is the tournament over. Joffre, congratulations. We'll see you very soon for your next match. All right, cheers. Thank you, guys. See you. Cheers. See ya. So there we go, Joe. 4-1 uh, emphatic yeah. victory uh, for Joffre Arch for many yeah, thanks, Joffre man. Archer. We've seen him on the cricket field be. working wonders and he's proven to be a really solid FIFA player as well. Yeah, Joffre Archer plays FIFA exactly as I was expecting a cricketer to play FIFA. It was so entertaining to watch, wasn't it? The constant mm. barrage of praise for every player who did anything right. I mean, he is a really good FIFA player too. Very attacking, used Marcus Rashford perfectly. Like Rich was saying in commentary on that left wing, getting lots of width and then coming inside and looking to use the finishing of Anthony Martial. And I think Joffre Archer could be dangerous going into this tournament. He's got Egan up next of Sheffield United. And there is confirmation now, isn't there, that Joffre Archer progresses to the round of 16 after beating Newcastle 4-1. That actually is quite comprehensive at the end of it. Mm. You can see the full draw now as well. And more confirmation that Joffre Archer will indeed face Sheffield United and Egan up next. Although if he gets past that, he faces a tough one against reigning champions Wolves, who are represented by Morgan Gibbs-White, or Brighton, that are represented by Aaron Connolly. We know there's lots of pedigree in the FIFA community down at Brighton. The next game coming your way, though, this afternoon will be Leicester versus Bournemouth. Two of the league's biggest players, James Madison versus Callum Wilson, going head-to-head. -head. Yeah, I'm very excited about this next one, Joe. Of course, it's two players that know each other very well. Two players that are England internationals, of course. Two players that have played FIFA against each other recently, that are good friends as well. Two players we've spoken to about FIFA, so I think it's going to be a very tough one to call. Uh, and that is our fourth and final game of our first day today. We will be back at six o'clock for that game. Just a reminder, please do stay home and save lives. We'll be back very shortly. Bye-bye.